everybody, Dylan here, and welcome back to Pyre. We are about to continue our journey on the next stage of the rites. So we need to choose here between Ragged Rock, Rookie spotted wreckage in the area and believes there could be valuables to find, or Froth Sea. Tizo seems very eager to see the wagon head in this direction. Yeah, we'll go with the mysterious Drive Imp's intuition. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. The imp Tizo has been much more animated even than usual. What is it, little one? Scree! He seems to think there's something very delicious here. He keeps on screeching. I don't think I've ever seen him like this. Wait, what is he? Just then, Tizo dives into the waters and vanishes into the depths. Oh, I hope he can swim. He can, but he appears crestfallen when he finally returns, his claws empty. Room. Tizo is very disappointed that whatever he attempted to catch eluded him. Faye begins to sob uncontrollably. The two revel in each other's misery for a time. Tizo and Faye lost minus one hope for the next right. Fuck. Wow. That was shitty. I guess I should have listened to Ruki. Sorry, Ruki. Shouldn't have trusted a literal monster over you. You and your companions look upon the Deathless Tempest. The stars demand you sail beyond it, yet the very thought is beyond reason. Then something in the nearby water stirs, and from it springs something familiar. Hold, good ladies and good sirs. This knight beseeches you to hear him, if you please. What is it now, worm? The rites are ended. We have no further need of you. Oh, but you do. And in turn, this knight has further need of you, good lady. Out with it, then. Let us be joined. Let this knight join you, please. Can you believe this, Hedwin? Not really, no. Nay, look ye not so surprised. Your valor and the rights did stir this poor knight's soul. He swears to you, upon his long-lost honor as a would-be knight errant of the Sea Dominion, that he shall serve you to the end. Well, what about your other worm friends back there? The Pyre Hearts? They are base cowards. This knight can no longer abide such spineless characters, having witnessed true glory in our clash upon the Hulk of Oris. Never before have we been trounced tho so thoroughly. And furthermore, this knight shall aid your passage with through the Deathless Tempest. Is it not so that you seek passage to the north? With this knight's aid, you shall achieve your wish. Sir Gilman continues to persuade you for quite some time. He seems to know a way to cross the storm, some sort of long-held secret among worms exiled to these waters. Jodariel pulls the rest of you aside after Hedwin gives you a look. Are you most sure that Sandalwood would want this thing along? Mostly sure. Sandalwood wants someone for each mask, and this one seems about as good as we're gonna get. Jodariel glowers back at the worm, who tries his best to look presentable. Hedwin is more gracious. He tells Sir Gilman that if he promises to help you cross the Deathless Tempest, then he can come along. Or now. This knight is overjoyed, and he hereby swears to see you pass the storm. Though first, this knight requires your consent. Give unto this knight your blessings in the name of the Night Wings, and thus shall he go forth. Sir Gilman seems to be asking your permission for something. Um... Yeah, sure, let's see it. As you begin to say something in response, Sir Gilman cries out in triumph. He vanishes into the de into the depths. Yet, though this close through this close encounter with him, you cling to some sense of where he is going and what he intends to do. Sir Gilman is determined to help you cross the Deathless Tempest. Oh my lord, what the fuck is happening? Oh, it's gonna be another little mini game. Sir Gilman has an aura trail that extends behind him. Press E to snap it in an aura slash. All right, this game is getting more complicated in, in, in like a good way. It's gaining some some complexity and some texture that I'm really enjoying. Determined to prove himself to you and the Nightwings, Sir Gilman emerges somewhere in the outer reaches of the Sea of Solas and calls out to you. Master Reader, if you can hear this knight, then he implores you now. Lend him your guidance. This knight's objective ought not be far east of here. Today we shall bring peace to the embroiled sea. Know, however, that among this knight's brethren, the actions we are about to take are highly forbidden. But they are highly just. 
Thus, Sir Gilman sets forth to quell the storm that rages to the north. Reverse the reef. So fast. Here we go. Hark! Yonder lie the foul spawn of unfathomed clearness. Boiling the seas with their wrath. Exiled worms within these waters long have harbored these abominations, using them to bar passage through the downside's channels for any save this night's own kind. Be gone now from here, fiends. This night shall finish what under King Oris started. Damn. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam. Our trail, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. And boom. Nice. Very cool. Do have we... Oh, shit. He's gonna have to fight some guys. Oh, hold it right there, you traitor slug. How dare you turn your back on this knight to your superior. <laughs> Superior by rank no longer, for we no longer serve the commonwealth. Last this night checked. Here you hold no sway over this night. Ah, uh, and what have you what have you done to the spawn? Have you no honor left at all? This knight has done that which required doing. His honor cannot sink much lower anyhow. He figured this would be an ideal time to free himself from servitude to you. Why you you dare to staunch the tempest for those night wings? Good Sir Deluge. This knight was born to dare. Now come and fight this knight if you so dare as well. Ah, fire hearts. Banish him. This is an order. Let's banish these fire hearts. You guys want to fucking dance? What now, Sir Deluge? Shall you not face this knight yourself and leave the dirty work unto your charges? Fine, Gilman. You wish to stand against your commander? Then ha have it your way. Sir Marsh, Lady Seagrass, to me, banish now to this troublemaker. Ching! Get wrecked. You are master of this night no longer, Sir Deluge. Thus shatter our fraternal bonds. This knight would say it was an honor serving you, Sir Deluge, but that would be a bald-faced lie, and yet another stain upon his blackened reputation. Until we meet again. Wait, you lowly traitor. This knight will have your head, Gilman. All right. Nice job, Gilman. Yeah, I like I like the way he plays actually. He's very nimble and very aggressive. As the day wears on, there's still no sign of the worm knight. Your companions grow restless, but then Hail! This knight returns with newfound tales to tell and new scars to show for them. Sir Gilman is sopping wet and visibly shaken. He struggles to maintain decorum. He is, in short, the very image of Worm Knight. And more importantly, that little tempest ought no longer pose a threat for us now. Behold! As if on cue, the deathless tempest begins to simmer and subside. Oh yeah. Did it. Well, would you look at that? He really did it. Of course this knight did it. Now, if it would be alright with you, this knight could really use some shut eye. The Worm Knight then collapses in exhaustion. You and Hedwin help him up. A deal's a deal, Sir Gilman. Welcome to the Night Wings. Huzzah! Sir Gilman joined the group. He also revealed the path north for you. Did him welcome. We did it! Yay! Well, he did it. Sir Gilman revealed a gap in the store that seems safe enough to traverse. Up here. 
With Sir Gilman's aid, you managed to breach the Tempest. You were true to your word, Worm, I shall give you that. But now what? We are stranded in this cursed storm. A most excellent question, and from one most fair. Call me that once more, and I shall tie you in a knot. <laughs> and from one most spirited as well. This knight was wise to side with ye. Just, where do we turn from here? Answer the question now. <laughs> Sir Gilman does no such thing, although eventually he does make note of a specific current that should lead you to the lands beyond. If I may, I can corroborate Sir Gilman's account. We are close to making landfall. Then let me be the first to say, let's go. You are on the verge of sailing across the Sea of Solus. Voyage onward. Uh, say, uh, Tariq? Aye, Rookie, what is it? That loot you're always carrying around. You know how to play that thing, don't you? Why, I suppose I do. Good, cause I was thinking it's a little gloomy here and we could use a little tune to lighten up the mood, know what I mean? Aye. Then let me see what I can do. Oh, he's gonna play a song. That's cool. It's really like thematically appropriate too, it's very somber. That's really nice. I like how they animated it slowly to make sure we could enjoy the song. At last your wagon rumbles onto solid jagged ground, a land called Black Basin. Your fellow exiles unpack the wagon so you can take stock of how best to reach your destination. You approach Sir Gilman, who must have just finished practicing his fencing maneuvers. He regards with a single eye. Hail, Master Reader! This knight is determined to train harder, having joined the famous Nightwings. He shall ensure that this triumvirate continues to live up to its most feared reputation. This is such an honor, and this knight has a great deal of honor to regain. Having fled the Pyre Hearts, this knight fully expects now to conduct the rites in a most honorable fashion, to the fullest letter of the law described within the books. Some triumvirates this knight has met, and perchance mentioned by name, they are inclined to bend the rules a bit, sometimes a lot, and to prevail by any means they can. But this is wrong. The exile who refuses to obey the rules as they were written by the Under King Oris and his seven friends deserves neither honor nor his freedom. Thus, thusly does this knight have confidence the master reader shall resist any temptations to conduct the rites in any underhanded fashion. Now then, this knight must undergo a thorough cleansing, having trained until the point of foulness, so please excuse him, master reader. He slithers off humming some sort of chivalrous tune. All right. Thunder, you got anything for us? Nope. What's on your mind? So then, are we back on solid land or something like it, hmm? Then this must be Black Basin. Flames, flames and noxious fumes on one side, suffocating forest on the other. Lovely, lovely priest. So good of you to take me here. You truly would pursue this blasted stars until the farthest corners of this land, it seems. Though I'd better cease my blasphemy, or else the scribes themselves just might descend from up on high and strike me with another much-deserved penalty. The thrill of such transgressions, reader. Sometimes it keeps me going, not that I have any real choice. Now, we had best get back to our normal business, as it were. Poor Sandra. Until our next appointment. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I will see you next time on Let's Play Pyre. Bye-bye.